The short answer to this question is that star rating could go up to infinity, because you could have an infinite number of objects in a map. But ending the video there would be boring, so let's actually try to do it. The annoying thing is, the more objects there are in a map, the longer it takes to calculate the star rating. At some point, the calculations just overload your computer. So to keep things simple, and so I don't have to wait a thousand years just to watch my CPU catch fire, let's just put a limit. How high can you get the star rating using 65,535 objects? Why such a weird number? Because computers. Because sliders don't actually add any difficulty to the map star rating wise, we'll use only circles for this experiment. We're also going to put the map settings at AR0 and CS10. Circle size is the only setting that affects star rating, so we might as well put that on maximum. I'll explain what's up with AR0 later. The stack leniency is also going to be set to zero. We'll also come back to that later. Star rating is pretty much based on the spacing and timing between objects. Having objects be physically far apart whilst being close together in time will boost the star rating. So we want to maximise the physical distance whilst minimising time. The editor is limited to a grid of 512 by 384. However, by editing the map in the .osu, you can actually place objects up to a 512 by 512 grid. Objects placed beyond Y384 will be below the screen, but they do still exist, and Auto with its fancy tricks can still hit them. So the maximum distance we can achieve is by placing a circle at 0, 0 and a circle at 512 512. For minimum time, I've had to do something a little weird. The first two circles are actually going to be on the exact same time, meaning there is 0 milliseconds between these circles. But because of the weird way difficulty calculation works, we can't just put every single object on the same time. So the next pair of objects are going to be one millisecond after the last, and so on. Now let's create the map. Nobody really wants to copy paste 65,000 circles one millisecond after each other. So I just wrote a little program to do it for me. The results are in, and we managed to create a map that is 32 seconds in length and is 551.06 stars. Cool. This is what the map looks like to play just in case you were curious. My frame rate has taken a serious dive here, as you can see. Now let's backpedal a little bit, to when I talked about placing objects at the same time. The only thing that actually messes up is if you have a map with a length of zero, which is what happens if you stack everything on the same time. But what if we, instead, place everything on the same time, except for the final object, which we'll say, put at 10 seconds afterwards. This time we get a map that takes about two and a half minutes to calculate the star rating with, which we get as 1664.65 stars. It also takes an extra six minutes to load the map to play. Well, play. The game just seems to freeze at this screen, which is both interesting and disappointing at the same time. Maybe it'll play on a more powerful PC than mine. So if I made this video a few months ago, this is where I would end the video. However, there was an update a while ago that made it so stacked objects are now accounted for in difficulty calculation. So, here's the plan. We set the stack leniency and approach rate so that objects 1 millisecond apart will stack, but 2 milliseconds apart will not. Then, we set all of the objects in the top left to stack far off screen, and the objects in the bottom right will pretty much stay where they are. The end result is a map that takes about a minute to load the star rating for, but with a grand total of 3458.16 stars. The map actually loads in the editor after some time, and at about 4 frames per second, but we can see that the first object is somewhere around 31,500 units off screen. On a full screen 1080p monitor, that would mean the object is probably about here. If you somehow had a 144Hz monitor large enough to display these circles, and you hit these one frame after the other, the cursor would be travelling at 3744 meters per second, or about 11 times the speed of sound. The map also manages to play, somehow. Keep in mind that the map is supposed to be 32 seconds long, but it seems to go on for a hell lot longer than that. That is, until it freezes. Kinda interesting that the game's plan of action during the freezes is to just end the map on the spot. Oh yeah, the map also gives 330 million PP, and you thought the PP meta was bad enough already. 